everyone. I hope you have seen a lot of beautiful things out in the world since we were together last time. We're again going to talk about all things bright and beautiful and read from the Bible. We'll have an art project, we'll have songs with Miss Becky, and we'll have a story time and a prayer today. So today we are talking about another thing that God created. This is one of my favorites. This is the scripture text. Again, remember it's in the first book of the Bible, the first chapter and the very first verses. It goes like this. And God said, let there be a dome in the midst of the waters and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome. And it was so. God called the dome sky. And there was evening and there was morning the second day. So the first time we were together, we talked about God creating light and there was light and darkness. And now God's created the dome of the sky and separated the water that is on the earth from the water that's in the air. Isn't that interesting? Let's reach up and try to touch the sky. In the summer, it's so beautiful to look at how blue the sky is. And every day, it's painted with clouds that are different. It's like getting to look at a new piece of artwork every time you look up. So I hope you'll do that today when you have time. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, he made their glowing colors and made their tiny wings. All things bright and all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. The purple-headed mountains, the river running by, the sunset in the morning that brightens up the sky. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. The cold wind in the winter, the pleasant summer sun, the ripe fruits in the garden, He made them everyone. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. The tall trees in the green wood, the meadows where we play, the rushes by the water to gather every day. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. He gave us eyes to see them and lips that we might tell. How great is God Almighty who has made all things well. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. All things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. There are many wonderful books that have been written about God and creation. This is one of my favorites. It's called, First He Made the Sun, and it goes like this. First he made the sun, and 
and then he made the moon. Then he made the possum, and then he made the raccoon. He made all the creatures, made them one by one, put them in the sun to dry as soon as they were done. He made fishes, clams, and oysters, but they dried out in the breeze, so he sprinkled them with water and put them in the seas. These pictures remind me of the wonderful artwork that you'd all do. I love this. He saw the skies were empty, but he knew what to do. He made the birds who fly so high and chirp and tweet and coo. The great flat sandy desert was the hottest place he made. Joshua trees and cactus gave snakes and lizards shade. He made the mighty jungle thick with everything. Lions and tigers hunted, monkeys learned to swing. I really like this monkey up here. He's swinging from a branch we can't even see. He made some creatures furry and some he made with scales. He created fields and forests for bears and snakes and snails and butterflies, my favorite. Adam was the first man that the good Lord blessed. Adam named the animals. Which ones do you like best? The seas, the skies, the creatures, God made them one by one. On the seventh day, he rested and admired what he'd done. The end. We're talking about the dome of the sky, and that brings up a picture for me of wonderful blues and whites, like this one. I hope you can see it, all the variety in this artist's thought about what the sky might have looked like when the dome was being made in our Bible story. So we are going to make an art project that represents the dome of the sky. And I have some white construction paper. You could also use white copy paper. We are going to fold it lengthwise like this, a simple fold. And then from the top down to the bottom, we're going to make a blue line. It's a curvy line that goes from top down to the bottom. And it looks like this. And 
then we're going to hold the part that's folded so we don't accidentally cut this in two. I've done that really often and maybe that's happened to you too. But hold the place where the paper's folded and then we're just going to cut right along that blue line that we drew. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of try to stay with the curve. And when we open it up, we have a dome that we can now make more look like the sky. And the way we're going to do that is really simple too. I love art projects that are easy. We have all sorts of colors of blue. I have dark and medium and light. And I have even a blue that's sort of gray or purplish. You might have different colors of blue at your house. And if you don't have any blue paper, you could take a white piece of paper and color it blue before we start the next part of our project. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to tear shapes from our blue pieces of paper. It can be any shape you like. And we're going to do our glue poem. Remember, it goes dot, dot, not a lot. Put glue on the paper and stick it on, on our dome, anywhere you want it to go. And we're just going to keep doing that. I'm going to use this lighter glue this time. And I'm going to tear a bigger shape. This is a very free way to be creative and do art. This is my shape. Say the poem with me. Dot, dot, not a lot. And I'm going to put this down on my page. I'm going to fill to push kind of hard to make it stick. I'm going to fill that whole white dome with colors of blue. This is one that is a different shape. This is the idea again. Just tearing shapes and gluing them down. When you glue something down, the word for that in art is collage. So you're making a blue sky collage on a dome. This will help us remember that part of the story of creation in the book of Genesis that we read today. Now, if you would rather cut shapes, I want to be sure you know you could do that too. You might want to cut a shape, maybe a funny shape that all the edges aren't straight. And do you again. See, it doesn't take very much glue because paper isn't heavy. So the glue doesn't have to hold anything. And if you use too much glue, guess what? It goes everywhere, including on your table and anything around your project. So that dot not a lot can help you avoid that. This shape almost looks like a stained glass window to me, but we're hoping that you'll have fun making a dome of the sky. You know, a summer program at Montview just wouldn't be the same without singing a couple of the silly songs that we sing almost every day when we can be together here at the church in the summer. So, I'm going to sing those two songs, and I hope at home you'll sing really loudly along with me. The first one goes like this. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand upon the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Now, what makes it silly is that we start out singing very slowly and we repeat the song several times and we get faster and faster each time. So let's try it. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. 
I stand upon the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand upon the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand upon the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's a book for me. I stand upon the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's a book for me. I stand upon the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Whoa! So, we have talked about God making light. We talked about God making the sky. Isn't it amazing to think about all the beautiful colors in the world? I'm thinking about the colors behind me. And I'm wondering if you might have a garden at your house with flowers that are blooming now. Today, find some time to go out and see how many colors you can see out in the world, maybe 10 one for each of your fingers. Let's do that together and we'll talk about it tomorrow. And you can talk about it with your family tonight, just how grateful we are for the beauty that God has given us. Today, we're gonna to pray by saying thank you in different ways. So first, say thank you softly. Let's whisper, thank you God. Now, let's shout, thank you God. And let's whisper again and say, Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. See you.